we've got a couple updates here talking about Sony Santa Monica Studio and the games that they are potentially working on. Obviously, you know, we've been expecting that they are working on some new IP based on a job posting that we took a look at, I believe, a couple years ago. And so this is beginning to become more of a conversation as God of War Ragnarok has been released now and we're looking forward to the new things that they're working on. Well, according to an LA Times interview, we have got more information on that. Although small, still some more information nonetheless. And we're also going to be talking about Final Fantasy 16. We got an update there. It is one of the most highly anticipated games for the PS5 in 2023. So it's definitely worth talking about. Before we jump into that, if you could do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, share the video. It helps the channel a ton and gets this video out to more people. And I also appreciate it a ton. Now let's talk about the Santa Monica Studio update. So Studio Creative Director Corey Barlog, who helmed 2018's God of War reboot, told the LA Times that the Sony Studio is currently, in quotes, spread out on a lot of different things, but declined to offer specifics. Naturally, that is expected. Uh, and this is something that shouldn't come as a surprise. He is believed to be working on the new IP that we are expecting to get announced one day soon. We talked about this a couple of years back that there was a job posting that showed that they are working on a new IP along with some other details of what kind of setting it could be. So it's not a brand new piece of news, but it is, I think, the first time that they've really addressed this uh, publicly and especially in an interview. So there you have it. Corey Barlog is talking about Santa Monica Studio working on quite a few things. So I think that it'll be interesting to see what they are working on. And I don't think it's going to be something we see anytime soon. Although there is mention that they have been working on something for quite a while now. So we'll see what happens. I do think that if we do even see a glimpse of anything, maybe late 2023, but I'm more confident in a 2024 timeframe, unless this project is just doing super well for uh, pacing and they are ready to, to go, ready to show more. Uh, when it came to talking about God of War and just the franchise, uh, it seems that Sony Santa Monica Studio is very okay with making God of War forever. They, they really enjoy that world. And clearly they have been just putting out hits back to back to back, looking at God of War 1 all the way to Ragnarok. Uh, they've been reviewed very, very well. So it seems that not only is it a very lucrative IP, it's also very popular and it's always reviewed well. So I think that there's no shame in them working on uh, God of War in the future. Uh, but I do think everybody collectively would want to see them do something new uh, alongside God of War. Like, I'm not saying don't do God of War anymore, but I do want to see what else Santa Monica Studio can create. I really think they have an incredible team. They've proven it over and over again that they do have talent. And this talent, it's not a fluke. They've been putting out bangers for a while. And I feel like seeing them attempt a different setting, a different theme, uh, creating a new world, it would be awesome to see that. So... Really looking forward to what else they can do. And I think that we are going to see that. I also don't think God of War is going anywhere. I think we're going to see God of War make a return for the next game and the next game and the next game. It's just one of those franchises that has proven the test of time, stood the test of time, right? It's been around for a long time, been around since the PS2. Look at the sales. I mean, it beat Modern Warfare, Elden Ring in the UK, which is insane if you think about it. Like those are two huge titles that are multi platform versus God of War, which was only on PS4 and PS5. So it's just, it shows the power of the IP, the popularity, and, and just how much further they can go with this IP. So I do think that, again, God of War, we're going to see more. We're probably going to see games for a very long time, uh, but I do want to see them work on something new as well, which I believe they are doing. But that's our update for Santa Monica Studio. So let me know what you think. What do you think they could be working on? What would you like to see them do? And do you want to see them continue to make God of War games Next up, we are talking about Final Fantasy 16. So Final Fantasy 16 will have a second playable character. Obviously, everything that we've seen up until now only showed you ever playing as one character, Clive. Uh, but it seems that they have confirmed. The game's creative director, Kazutoyo Mahiro, confirmed there will be a short period of time where players control another mysterious person. And this is something that I think is, is a welcomed addition, right? Like, I love being able to see different perspectives. I love playing as different characters uh, in a game, especially a Final Fantasy game where you, you know, you, you're known to have party members. You're known to play as multiple characters. So I feel like this is very fitting. I feel like it's probably going to be a pretty big hit when we finally do play as this character because they aren't saying who it is. 
So I think that that must mean that it's supposed to be a big twist, maybe a big surprise, uh, and they don't want to spoil that before the game drops. Like they want you to just organically, naturally come across it. So I respect that and actually think that's great. So really looking forward to this. I think that uh, Final Fantasy 16 is going to be a big hit. I think that, you know, 2023, we've got tons of games coming then too. Final Fantasy 16 is going to be a big one. You know, these are the guys that made FF14, right? These are the guys that really put together a story that has expanded year after year after year and it's impressed people and it's won many awards and it's got one of the biggest MMO RPG communities. So I feel like they can really nail the story. I would be shocked if Final Fantasy 16 story was not excellent. And then when you look at the gameplay, you got the DMC guys, you know, working on the gameplay. That game is known for fleshed out, awesome action-based combat. So I feel like FF16 is going to nail that as well. So FF16 looks promising. I can't wait to see it in 2023. I'm looking forward to a release date. I think the next time we're going to see this game is at the Game Awards. They talked about showing something this year and uh, in, in regards to the release date. So I feel like that's it. That's where we're going to get it. And we're going to know when Final Fantasy 16 is dropping. It'll be no later than the summer season. So it could be uh, anywhere, I believe, till from June to late September. So we'll see what happens. I do hope it comes pre, like, July, August. I, I would hope that it would be like a June game. That'd be pretty sick. But uh, I don't know that that'll actually be the case. Regardless, looking forward to it. Can't wait to see what editions they're going to have because I really am on this whole collector's edition uh, type of binge right now where it's just like if it's a game I love, then I want to get that collector's. But yeah, that's the update for Final Fantasy 16. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you look forward to this game? Is it one of your most anticipated? Are you ready to play as the second playable character? Who do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, you can please subscribe, like, share the video. You can follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. And if you want to support the channel a little bit further, consider becoming a member. It's $1.99 Canadian a month, and every dollar gets reinvested into the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care.